O jiu-jitsu que eu criei foi para dar mais chances aos mais fracos. With that phrase by Helio Grace, I started this video talking about jiu-jitsu in my accent and is now worldwide and has become a great tool not only in the world of fighting but also for self-defense. And that's gonna start to talk about the history and how it started the Brazilian jiu-jitsu, the famous BJJ. If you don't know me, my name is Andre or Brazilian Buddy. I share you everything related to the Brazilian culture. And today, let's gonna to start to talk about martial arts. This is the second video talking about Brazilian uh, martial arts. The first one was about capoeira. If you didn't know, I'm gonna put here in the comments and in the cards as well. Uh, it's a great video talking about the African immigration and how Uh, this martial art was um, involved inside of the Brazilian culture and of course BJJ also it's very important and that's gonna see how it started and how we um, developed this Japanese um, knowledge so let's go well during the 19th century Japan had a huge increasing of the, the population which caused the country to encourage immigration in other countries, especially the American continent. Knowing this information, I believe it's very important to see uh, my video about the Japanese immigration that happened in Brazil. I'm gonna put in the cards and below as well. It's a really important video. So knowing this, many martial arts masters uh, survived by teaching their art in exchange uh, for better conditions of life. One of these masters was Mitsuyo Maeda, known as Konji Koma, or in English Count Koma. Uh, he was a Jiro and Jiu-Jitsu practitioner and traveled to many countries, not only in America but also Europe, um, presenting martial arts around the world. In 1915, he arrived in Brazil uh, in the city of Belém, capital of Pará State, in the north of Brazil. He founded his academy in 1922 and called Kond Koma. In detail, this academy exists until today, which is super awesome. One day he met a man with eight children called Gaston Gracie. Yeah, that's the beginning of the Grace family. So Mitsuyo and Gaston became great friends and because of that he decided to teach uh, his techniques to Gaston's eldest son called Carlos Gracie. Mr. Maeda liked so much that he decided to stay and live here in Belém, in Brazil, um, passing away in 1941. In detail, Mr. Maeda naturalized Brazilian and started to be called as Otávio Maeda. In 1925, Carlos Grace decided to live in Rio and found the Family First Academy, teaching his knowledge to his young brothers, George, Jorge, in my accent, and Hélio Grace. It was with Hélio Grace that the traditional art of Jiu-Jitsu evolved and became the Grace Jiu-Jitsu, or in the future, BJJ, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu-Jitsu Brasileiro. Being thin and skinny, Elio developed the Jiu-Jitsu focused on control techniques by fighting on the ground to compensate his size. This adaptation gave less importance to strikes and throws but allowed a weaker fighter to beat heavier opponents using his own weight in submissions. Basically, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu focus on putting the opponent down to neutralize potential strength or size advantages through ground fighting techniques um, using submissions involving joint locks, chalk holds, and etc. So, buddies, what do you think about this episode? I'm enjoying a lot uh, and I'm sharing and learning at the same time about BJJ, a lot of fighting, a lot of UFC, a lot of MMA. And if you love it as well, please don't forget to subscribe Comment below if you have any question and share to your friends, which is really important. And yeah, move on. To prove the superiority of their martial art and get more students, the Family Grace started a big tour in Brazil, challenging opponents from different modalities like capoeira, for example, that I mentioned in the beginning, and also other practitioners uh, of Muay Thai, box, and so on. These challenges became known as the Grace Challenge, um, an embryon of what today would be MMA. You know, with octagons and a ring, everything. Members of Grace family also participated in Vale Tudo, literally means everything allowed in English, but better known as No Holds Buried. Uh, and it's a kind of a primitive MMA with a few rules. So, Grace members like Helio Gracie and Carlos participated and fired as well. 
Over the years, the Gracie family and Jiu-Jitsu grow and became very popular in Brazil. And now it's the time to conquer the world, wasn't it? So Royce and Hickson Gracie, sons of Hélio, were pioneers in taking Jiu-Jitsu abroad. Hickson Gracie participated in a few fightings of the legendary Pride in Japan and Royce became champion of the first editions of an event called... Hmm, I think it's called UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship. Brazilian names stand out in MMA due to the Jiu-Jitsu, uh, like Damian Maia, Nogueira Brothers, uh, Charles Oliveira, and so on, which is uh, even from my city, by the way, it's a curiosity, uh, and many others. Jiu-Jitsu today is the fastest growing individual sport in Brazil with thousands of practitioners and academies in the whole country. Over the years, rules and the graduation system were created, um, federations and confederations also starting the era of sports championship. And today we have this beautiful martial art um, better known as the Arte Suave, which is like smooth art, as we can see nowadays. I hope you like this episode. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next episode. Oss!